hello everyone welcome back to my channel hope you are all doing well if you are new here don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will never miss an upload in today's video i'll be showing you how to cut a dress with pleats i'll be using this paper to demonstrate to you on how to cut a dress before you can cut your dress you have to know your body measurement for you to know how much fabric to fold after measuring your body measurement your hip measurement will be the biggest measurement that will be the highest number you are going to use your hip measurement to fold your fabric let's take for instance if your hip measurement is 40 inches so you will divide it by four which will give you 10 then you will add four inches to it that will make it to be 14 or 13 if you use three inches so the width of the paper pattern that i will be using today is 13 inches this is 13 inches I'm going to mark an half an inch for the starting point. I'm going to mark a straight line across it. Now we are going to take our vertical measurement. The length of the pattern is 35 inches. So that will be the length of our dress, including sewing allowance. I'm going to take my vertical measurement. So I will mark 9 inches for my chest line, then 17 inches for the waistline. And I'm going to mark 25 inches for the hip. After doing that, I will mark a straight line across it. Now, let me label it. Chest line, waist line, and hip line. So, this will be the length of our fabric. When done that, I'm going to take my shoulder. The shoulder we are working with is 16. 16 divided by 2. That will give us 8 inches. This is my 8 inches. The neck width is 3 inches and the neck depth will be 3 and a half inches. Now I'm going to connect my neck width and neck depth together. I will mark 1 inch for the shoulder slope. Now connect it to the neck width. The armhole is 8 inches. This is it. Now we are going to look for the midpoint coming by half an inch and then we mark our boss line on the chest line boss measurement is 38 38 divided by 4 that will give us 9.5 inches so you mark your 9.5 inches here having done that connect your armhole line After that, you are going to mark your waistline. The waistline is 39 inches. So 39 divided by 4, that's 9.75. So we are going to mark our 9.75 here. And we are going to mark the hip. The hip measurement is 40 inches. 40 divided by 4 is 10. We are going to mark 2 inches. So we mark 2 inches for the sewing allowance. You mark the same here for the sewing allowance. You mark here as well. Then you come down to the hem of your fabric. Remember we mark 10 inches there. So whatever you have here, you are going to transfer it here. Then you mark 2 inches extra as well. We are done with our measurement. I'm going to connect the line together from chest line to the waist line. And you mark from the waist line down to the hip line. Then put your line down. Next thing is to cut the dress out. You can see it is very simple to cut. Come to the waistline and cut it up to chest line. You cut the handful line. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and click on the notification bell for you to be notified whenever I upload a new video so that you won't miss out. When you get to the shoulder slope, cut the one inch into two. So that will be for the seam. Come up here. 
and we put this to the neckline. And here is our dress. It is simple to cut. This is it. So if you want to cut the back, all you have to do is to place the front part on top of the fabric and cut it out. If you want to attach button to it, you have to open it here by three inches. Have three inches here for the opening so that you'll be able to attach your button at the back. So after cutting your dress, all you have to do is to take the measurement of the dress button. So you are going to multiply it by one and a half. Then you make your pleat under it. This is the pattern that I will be using for the pleat. What you will do is to take it to the machine and pleat it. Just fold it this way. This is the pleat. I'm going to make another pleat. You can make five inches of pleat. Or six inches so that's what I'm going to do or if you want to make today it totally depends on what you want but I'm just using this as an example so I'm showing you how you can easily make the piece at the bottom then you come to the other side and do the same thing so you can see it is easy so if you want to cut your your piece it has to be five inches so that it won't be too long hope you understand the concept so you just cut it out then you have to multiply the width of the dress for the bottom so that's what you are going to cut out it is very lovely so this is how to cut a dress with split so this is how to cut it it's very simple to cut so i heard you to cut yours as well and let me know in the comment section so if you have not yet subscribed kindly subscribe and click on the notification bell for you to be notified whenever i upload a new video so that you won't miss out and for the returning viewers I really appreciate you thank you so much for your support so this is the end of our tutorial thank you so much i'll see you in my next video bye